Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about polyatomic ions. A polyatomic ion is a group of covalently bonded atoms that have a charge. Remember, the prefix poly means many. So think of this as an ion that contains many atoms. You have a list of polyatomic ions that has been provided to you. Some examples of polyatomic ions from this list include the ammonium cation, the sulfate anion, and the phosphate anion. Polyatomic ions are frequently found in the formulas for ionic and acidic compounds, often acting as anion, but occasionally ammonium will show up as a cation. Some examples of compounds that contain polyatomic ions include sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid. So, how do we handle polyatomic ions when writing formulas? They're generally handled in a very similar way. However, there is a slight problem. Polyatomic ions are bound together, the atoms travel as a group, and the formula of the polyatomic ion cannot change. Polyatomic ions generally already include subscripts in them. So, how do I indicate that I have multiple of a polyatomic ion present in a formula? How do I put a subscript on, next to a subscript, basically? Let's look at an example in order to determine this. Let's write the formula for vanadium 5 sulfate. First, we must find what ions are involved. Sulfate is one of our polyatomic ions. It has the formula SO4 and has a negative two charge. Vanadium five is the, one of the possible charges for the vanadium cation, since vanadium is a transition metal. So when writing the formula, we should consider what the common multiple of plus five and negative two is in order to try to determine how many of each we should have. In order to balance the charges, I'm going to need two of the vanadium-5 ion. So the first part of our formula will be V2, which looks just as it usually does. However, I also need five of the sulfate ion. In order to indicate that I have five of that entire grouping, what we will do is place the sulfate polyatomic ion inside parentheses and place a five subscript outside of it. This indicates that I have five of the group that is located inside the parentheses. So our final formula will be V2, parentheses, SO4, close the parentheses, five. So in summary, when writing the formula for a compound, if you need to indicate that there are multiple of a polyatomic ion, use parentheses so that the group can stay together before you put your subscript. Thank you and good luck.